Hi, so good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name's Tom Beach and I was the network leader for the DECOM network, which focused on the digitisation of requirements, regulations and compliance checking processes in uh, the built environment. So the motivation for doing this work was really that there's such a variety of regulations and requirements in the built environment and doing all this checking manually was deemed to be a sort of huge complex task and it seemed to us that there was distinct advantages that could be achieved through automating this. Reduction of costs, increased accuracy, and ability to utilise regulations in new ways. But this hadn't really been a, there hadn't really been any adoption of this. Um, historically, that's because various data sets, such as BIM data, just wasn't advanced enough. We're sort of moving past that now, but still there's no real adoption of this in a sort of cohesive way. So one of the main goals of DECOM was to try and understand why and how this adoption could be stimulated. So what we sought to do was to assess the state of the art, consult with stakeholders across the industry, um, and then take all that information to define sort of why this adoption hadn't happened and develop a roadmap that could be used to overcome this, this lack of adoption and set out the path. So this is what we saw as the starting point, the current conceptual process, where you have paper-based documents, people working on models, but submission is still done mainly through documents, and assessing is still done through comparing paper-based submissions to regulations written in documents. We've got a bit of electronic in there, in that the document's now electronic, but it's still a largely manual process. So this is the group that came together to sort of conduct this work. As you can see, there's contractors, universities, BSI, Celebri, um, a huge variety of industry participants that were interested in actually working towards uh, this aim. So this was our methodology. We started off with some initial brainstorming inside the network. Then we used this to do a quite wide-reaching industry survey where we wanted to get the industry's views. In parallel to that, we did a landscape review of current academic and industrial activity in this area, and we used that to come together to produce a roadmap to say, how can we overcome these obstacles? Um, and then we analysed that in a consultation. So one of the most interesting results that came up from our survey was essentially that the vast majority of the industry thought that compliance checking was achievable and should be automated. However, the big caveat was that human intervention need to be maintained. We then used all this information to produce a roadmap, and our roadmap roughly came across four different stages. An R&D phase, then we went to a sort of a pilot, a demonstrator. We need someone to demonstrate what we've done, what we, what we can do, and show that it's possible. Once we've done that, you can move to a stage where technology matures to lead towards... Um, commercialization and this was the final vision that we ended up with um, a, a space where we're now offering digital regulations that are stored in a digitized form we're moving to a space where perhaps in the future what we're talking about is human-aided design as opposed to computer-aided design so forgive me if we just go back to the slide I got a little bit behind so we've got human-aided design so the human is guiding the computer in producing um, Regulate, regulatory compliant designs and digitised checking is, is all done sort of semi-automatically and this opens up new spaces where you can look at using new technology to do semi-automated checks on existing assets where you're incorporating things like drone scanning all sorts of different technologies that we've heard some about today to check current assets that are built whether they continue to comply with regulations and identifying faults that develop um, as they go on. That's quite forward thinking, that bit, but that's the sort of space we were getting into towards the end of the network's work. Um, so at the end of the network, we produced a report. I could no way go into all the details of all our results in the couple of minutes here. So if you go on our website, um, you can download our final report. If you're interested, feel free to contact me. I'm very happy to take questions and answer any queries you can have. So thank you very much, everyone.